Hello everybody, this is a Central American Wood Turtle Care video. This video was requested by John Salvatore, and he asked for a more in-depth care video on these turtles. So that's what I'm about to do. So let's just get right into it, get to the facts. These turtles are, if you have one, you're lucky because they're very, very hard to breed in captivity. Just to point that out, they're pretty rare to find Central Americans that are healthy and don't have worms or anything like that. So if you have one, uh, good good job. You got a red turtle. So let's get right into it. First off, these turtles need a pretty large enclosure. Here you see we have my tortoise table. We also have the Russian tortoises in here. But it's it's pretty pretty dang long. Um I wanna say it's it's I will have the measurements in the description. But this is pretty much the minimum size you want. My um, Central American Chester is outside during the summertime where I live. He's in here during the winter and cold parts, which, yeah, it's pretty cold where I live now. But um, you do want a heat lamp. As you can see, I only have a UVB. This is where my heat lamp was, except this light bulb and pearls over there, heat lamps, they both went out, so I have to get some of them. But... Just because you don't see it in this video does not mean you don't need one. You absolutely need a heat bulb. You want to keep the temperature around like 86, you know, 88 degrees. So pretty much just like room temperature with a 75 watt heat bulb. You also want a really strong, how strong powered UVB bulb because these are very tropical species of turtles. And they absolutely need to have good UVB. I was a gnat on his shell. Because I had some fruit up from my cicada. But it was watermelon. So I barely feed him that. Just to clear that up. So you you can feed these guys like worms. They have been found digging for worms. You know, stuff like that. You can feed them, but strangely enough, mine doesn't, doesn't like worms. I've tried giving them mealworms, earthworms, stuff like that. She loves them. He doesn't like them. He just likes his um, vegetables and fruit. You can feed him romaine lettuce, watermelon, melon, bananas. You don't want to feed him too much fruit because that could possibly um, grow some parasites and because they have a loaded up with sugar. But you can feed him like, you know, collard greens, lettuce. Um, you you want to stay away from kale. But they're pretty much the same diet as a tortoise. One unknown fact about these guys is you really want to have a... They, these are semi-aquatic turtles. That means you want to have a very large water bowl. Um, this here is the large lasagna pan. You just get these at like Kroger or Walmart. Pretty much anywhere. It's about 4 inches deep. So, you know, up to like my hand there. It's about 4 inches deep. You want to have the water clear and clean. Um, it needs to be pretty large. Let me pick him up here. So here's the turtle, and there's the water bowl. Um, I would say the absolute minimum would be a medium-sized one of these. Like I said, he's in the my box turtle pen during the summer, and if you've seen any of those videos, they've got a pretty decent-sized water area. You want to have high humidity, so that means eco-earth, which is what I have here, always moistened down. Um, these guys don't do well in dry environments. Um, their care is pretty much the same as eastern box turtles. Um, you would, if you want, if you have them in the house all the time, you'd have some plants in there. Some ferns would do nice. Um, it's pretty much any plant that's non-toxic. They love to hide under things. They love to be under these logs here, which I've created. They love to climb, which brings up the next topic. These guys are... Excellent, excellent escape artists. I've found him over here in the tortoise area, which is why I moved this water bowl. It was over here, but I moved it over here so he doesn't have enough room to climb up and over the edge into the tortoises. But he has gotten into the tortoise area before. Um, so you're going to want to have some logs, some rocks. Rocks will help keep those claws down nice and filed. Um... Hatchling care is a little more um, in-depth. They are, they're not hard turtles to care for, 
but they're not the easiest turtles to care for. They don't do really well in droughts, so you're always going to want to keep them at, you know, a pretty high temperature. Really nothing over, like, 100 degrees. You always need to have, if you have 100 degrees, like, if they're outside or something, you're going to want to have shady area, cool water, you know, stuff like that, always freshly available for them. Because they're kind of like soft shell turtles, where they need to have clean water almost all the time. Um, another topic is, wood turtles are not box turtles. As you can see, he does not have a hinge on his shell. He cannot close up his shell. Now if you go over to Chloe here, see that hinge there? She can move her plastron up and down. She doesn't really like to do that. I don't know why. She's just really friendly. Um, as you can see, he's climbing. Their care, you know, it's, it's not that... Turtles aren't that hard to care for, to be honest. If you have a lot of them, they can be a little challenging, but... Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's pretty much it. You can always, um, I find a lot of good links. Just look up on, um, Google, um, Central American Wood Turtle Care, and a ton of good links will come up. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Their care is not much different than the box turtle, which there's a ton of information out, out on the internet for them. Substrate-wise... They do say that they really like to dig. Mine personally doesn't like to dig. So I have about uh, three and a half inches of soil in here. For if they wanted to dig, which interestingly enough, she doesn't like to dig either. Which is another thing. Um, wood turtles, especially Central American wood turtles, they're a lot more shyer species. Like, you know, her, she can just... She likes to be petted and, you know, she's good turtle him no he doesn't like he doesn't like being touched at all he doesn't like being carried they're a lot more shyer species so if your turtles you know not real keen on you holding them don't feel bad at all it's just a species um one thing about wood turtles and box turtles is they all have their own personalities which makes it kind of difficult to explain how they are you know as a species because of their personality differences. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions just leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer you. And hope you have an awesome day.